Good morning. Welcome back. I'm Olivia Vidal. Meteorologist Hannah Gard joins us now with your Saturday forecast. Hannah, another hot day, but a beautiful sunrise. Yeah, it is a really nice sunrise. Now, you might notice it's looking a little bit muted. That's because we do have some dust in the atmosphere, a little bit of wildfire smoke. So there is an air quality alert in effect today, but it's making for kind of muted orangey looking sunrise over the lakefront this morning. Now, today's temperatures we're going to be a little bit warmer than yesterday, 96 degrees, but this is the start of a really hot pattern. Monday, we could touch triple digits. Our average this time of year, 92. So that's almost 10 degrees above normal with our actual temperature. It's going to feel hotter with our feels like temperatures. And then we stay in the upper 90s through the end of the week. If we do hit triple digits on Monday, that will be our second 100 degree day of this year. The last day, was June 29th. So a month ago we saw a 100 degree day for the first time since 2016. So this is a rare occurrence and seeing it twice is fairly unusual. Now today we have heat alerts in effect. Heat advisory feels like temperatures will be 108 to 112 across the area. So if you have outdoor plans, make sure you have that in mind. It's going to feel really hot today. That's true for much of the region. Now we have a little gap here in those heat alerts across the southeast. That's because there's this low pressure system spinning there. That's been ushering in that drier air that we've felt throughout much of this work week. Today, this morning, we're kind of still feeling that, but we're going to really quickly start to rebound to much wetter air that's going to feel hotter. Now in the upper levels, you can see the spin over Mexico that's dropping to the south. That's being replaced by this large area of high pressure that's up to the north. This high is going to start to build over us as both of those lows move out. By the start of the week, we start to see that high peaking in our area and it's just going to sit directly on top of us at least through the start of next weekend. And some of our climate models have that staying there even through much of the beginning of August. So once this heat moves in, it's not really going anywhere. Now rain chances stay low through this weekend. I think we could see a little bit of an uptick in it as we go through the week because we kind of get right on the edge of that ridge of high pressure. And we've been talking about this for the past two or so months. That puts us in the storm track. So playing that out today, very isolated storms. If we do see one or two, they could be on the stronger side, not severe, but lightning, we could see some gusty winds. Same deal tomorrow. Once we get to the afternoon, get that daytime heating, we see a couple of storms pop up. Now Monday, you can see the track of these too, coming from the northeast around that ridge of high pressure. Maybe we see a storm complex try to form and move through. That could bring us some rainfall. Now it does look maybe a bit to the west of us, but definitely chance for storms. So today it's looking pretty nice. We'll get up into those mid 90s, a bit hotter tomorrow with that storm chance as well. But it's going to be a pretty good weekend. Tomorrow is just going to start to feel very hot. Now looking at the tropics, we do have a system that we're watching. This is going to take a bit of a northwest track as it goes across the Atlantic. That's good news for us. We are staying in the clear. This is Invest 96L. Right now, very broad circulation. We're seeing a lot of thunderstorm activity. You can kind of see that spin, but no center yet. Models are taking this around this big ridge of high pressure that we have sitting close to Europe and the coast of Africa right now. It's also dealing with a lot of this dust that's coming out. So a lot of models dropping this, but if it does make it, it's going to head right around the edge of that high. If we see this form into a tropical storm, the next name on the list is Emily, and it does have a high chance of doing so over the next seven days. Right now out there sitting in the mid 70s, some low 80s, not too bad, but that humidity, 94%, we're already feeling that. And there's that air quality alert that we are going to see today. If you're in those vulnerable groups, we have a lot of that dust that kind of made it all the way across the Atlantic. We haven't seen that much this year, but we will have that today. Now looking at the seven day, that Monday temperature really sticking out there, Olivia, 100 wow. degrees. And then we'll be right around there through Tuesday, Wednesday too. And it's not going to feel much different. It does not matter if it's 99 or 100. It's just hot. Well, I'm glad you pointed out the dust situation because <laughs> my sinuses started acting up last night. So that probably I like having has a reason to do for that. It. Yeah, we had an air quality alert yesterday too. So we'll have that again today. If you do have asthma or allergies, you'll probably notice that. Great. Thanks, Hannah. <laughs>